Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Boxing. Because the fight's nearing, you're locking in and focusing. Yeah, locking in, focusing, and um, they didn't want us to do a face-to-face, -face, so that was their call. You okay with that? I mean, I like a face-to-face, -face, so we don't have to mind. What do you look for when you have that? I mean, what did you see? Did maybe you want to... Um... Did you assess your opponent? Nothing. I'm locked in, focused, and uh, just ready to run. Okay, one did, did, did one of the, the things that was asked was, was about mental health, and I mean, it's, it's with you, it's more about like rising to the challenge. What is it that keeps you so locked in on, you know, like I'm gonna be at my best when the situation calls for it? Um, because you never know how many times you're gonna be called, and so how many opportunities you get in life, and so when they come, you gotta make sure that you're prepared. And um, I don't train more or less for different opponents. I haven't trained more for Canelo, you know, or, and when it did all this extra stuff, I train every fight as hard as I can because I want to treat every fight like a world champ, like a world championship fight. That's how you become a world champion, and that's how you become a speed. What do you hope it says to the world if you achieve victory on Saturday night? Yeah, you got it. Just prove that I told you so. Caleb. Caleb, hey, Caleb, there's been a lot of... When he, when he, when he, did it bother you when they announced? Because I know that, that he slipped and called him undisputed <laughs> champion already, like Saturday's fight had happened. Say what? When Jimmy announced Canelo, did you catch that he, they announced him as undisputed champion? Mm -hmm. Does it bother you the fact that, that despite your accomplishments, your record and everything, people just act like you're just here to show up for a payday? Regardless no, I think a lot of you know that uh, what I'm here to do. So I've said it many times before. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Um, you know what I'm here for. And listen, Caleb, you, are you 100% confident that your eyes healed? Because you're fighting a child that packs a lot of pounds. Do you have any concerns that it may reopen during the fight? I mean, I haven't put much thought into it. It's under my eye regardless, so not much to worry about. I bet he feels a big complaint when he takes off rounds, as you know, because you don't get, get tired. You, you know, for your endurance, the fact that he's known for taking off rounds before he sets up a big round, like he took off that seventh round before he got rid of uh, Billy Joe. How are you going to make him pay for that when he takes off those rounds? Tune in November 6th. Caleb, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the Saunders and Lara's fights, but do you feel you have some of the things in your skill set you can reproduce that Floyd did to actually beat him? Um, you know, I possess a lot of the same skills and uh, attributes that those guys did. They gave him a lot of trouble, but I'm a full fledged super middleweight, you know. Um, even things like Amir Khan, you know, I possess a lot of those same skills and speed. And, but again, I'm six one and a half and full fledged super middleweight. So um, I've been fighting this weight for a long time. I won the Golden Glove Nationals at 178 pounds, and so um, you know, since those since those fights that he's had trouble with, who has he fought to prove that he no longer has trouble with that? Did you have a chance to talk with Floyd about the fight? Did he, you know, uh, offer any support? Or? Not too much, just a word or two. And you know, Canelo, with you know practicing on the golf swing and whatnot, do you feel you're the hungrier fighter for this opportunity? That'll make a difference on Saturday night. I know I'm the hungrier fighter. Hey, 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 you hey, guys know too. Hey, people, people questioning why uh, Canelo stood out of the uh, fight back in September for Mexican Independence Day. Do you have, think it have anything to do with drug testing or anything like that? I'm not sure. We were six and a half weeks away.